Hi, in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to upload image in the cloud generally the easiest way. Without wasting time, let's begin. First of all, you will need to create an account in the cloud generally. Cloud generally is uh, a free platform to host, I mean, images, videos, and so on. Okay, and also it supports a bunch of programming languages. So after creating your account, which is very easy, you will go, for example, in dashboard. But first of all, let me show you in media library. So I have already some folders there. Okay, and let's go back. Okay, so you will go, I mean, in the dashboard. So as you can see, this is uh, my account details. So what do we we'll, um what do will we need to create I mean uh, to upload images? So we'll need uh, I mean the cloud name. We'll copy the API key and the API secret. Okay. So um I'm gonna make it very easy without any extra steps. I mean uh, how you can upload image in Cloudinary very easy. Okay, so let's go to our code editor to configure this. Now, in our code editor, what we are going to do, we are going to implement uh, Cloud Generate in the back end. But just before, I mean, uh, the very last time we have uh, converted, I mean, uh, our image in base 64. If you have the, you can, uh, I mean, check our very last video. So, um, since Cloud Generary also support, I mean, image in base 64, which is going to be very easy for us, I mean, to upload the image. So in our front end, everything is already set up since the very last time. So what we miss, we are going to configure, as I've just said, in the back end. Okay. So we're going to take this image in base 64 and instead of, I mean, uh, sending in our MongoDB, database we're gonna send it to the cloudinary okay so now i'm going to the back end to implement this okay in order to implement this let's uh, install i mean cloudinary okay uh, we are going to install a cloudinary in the back end okay npm i cloudinary like so um in the back end and uh, in between, let's uh, make some basic configuration. Okay, in the back end, your chills. So in your chills, I'm going to create a file. I mean, name cloudinary. Cloudinary.js. Okay. And I'm going to, let's... Uh, Add, I mean, cons cloud generally equal require require cloud generally like so, and we're gonna take the version two, okay, like so. And after that, I'm gonna paste um, some configuration from cloud generally, okay. This is the snippet from Cloud Generary, okay? Cloudgenary.config, okay? As I've showed you in the beginning of this video, okay? It seems like everything is okay. The cloud name, okay? We're gonna need the API key, the API secret, okay? But uh, as it is mine credentials, so uh, you will need yours also, okay? So I've saved my credentials in that .env file, okay? So with the name cloud name, Cloud key, cloud uh, key secret. Okay, so you're gonna create uh, these variables in the .env. Okay, with your credentials. Okay, so now um, let's uh, add it to our endpoint. Okay, for now, what we are going to do, since we have, I mean, Cloud Generary already exported, and so um, let's go. To put a controller, I'm gonna import first to Cloud Generate. 
equal require require I mean one step up okay you chills get okay, one step up here in the controllers to so go here in your chills okay for slash we need cloud generic okay and um okay let's uh i'm gonna need uh, i mean uh, all the fields okay so let's see here what we have i have name description price image okay category okay so um of course i mean uh, let's say name gonna this structure from the request body okay like so that's one here okay everything seems okay and uh after that um in try let's say cons result equal okay await since we are using async cloud generic this one here okay dot uploader dot i mean upload okay and uh, we are going to pass i mean uh, our field our field name is image okay and we have second parameter here what we can do we are going to give the name okay let's say i'm gonna uh let's name it i mean uh, products okay if this folder is not exist it's gonna create it automatically okay and if you want you can give a width okay if you want but um just showing you in just in case you need it let's say i mean 300 okay and crop also proportionally scale but uh, um, for the product part i'm not going to use it but uh, if you do i mean if you want you can always use it okay uh, i want um, i want to show you okay when i comment in that okay so let's continue from here what we are going to do um, i'm going to make some little change instead of sending request body i'm going to send the field separately okay because i will need uh, um the field uh, of uh, image to send to cloud generate and uh, what we are going to do so name name since we have e value pair and we don't need to write name name so we could write it like so add description image for the image part we will need uh, i mean two essentials parameter we will need uh, the public id okay result this result guys result okay result result of that public id and this public id id sorry will come from cloudinary okay and also we will need the, the url result okay will also come from cloudinary result that secure secure url Okay, this will come from Cloud Genary also. This is the accessible link. Okay. So from here we have uh okay, we, we missed the category. Okay. Category. Okay, now um let's say and uh um I'm gonna create, I mean uh, this the same way in the model to add it in the model okay public id and url so let's go here in the product model okay 
So here we have, um, I mean, uh, in the model, I'm going to write, uh, I mean, let's say uh, image. I'm going to need, first of all, I mean, uh, a public ID. That will be, this will be a string. So, okay, everything is good, and now let's give a try. Okay, before giving a try, I forgot one details. This should be in quote, like so, and save. Okay, and um, okay, seems like everything is great, and now um, let's go here in our browser. Let's try and make um, a product. Let's say. Um, um, Samsung, like so, description, power me too. Okay, price, let's say 350, um, uh, that 99. Okay, category, electronics. Let's choose an image. Okay, so let me choose that one. And let's try to create the image. Okay. Okay, seems like everything is great, guys. So let me look with you in the console. Okay, product created successfully. Here, let me expand this. Success through. Okay, expand product. As you can see, guys, let me expand the product for you. As you can see, um, you have the public ID. You see, public ID product. This is the ID, and this is the URL. And let's copy the I'm gonna copy the URL for you and open it in another tab. Oops, I forget one thing. I should um, remove what? Okay, as you can see, guys, this is how image. And let me go with you in the cloud generic. Okay, major library. Okay, as you can see, product. Okay, before I didn't have product folder and now I have let's go inside of it and as you can see guys this is the image that we have just been uploaded okay guys that was it if you have question please use the comment section if you like this video um, uh, please uh, leave your likes so each time you give us a like that's mean we are doing a good work and also to encourage us making more videos share it to your friend and um, that's it. I hope you learn, you have learned something. And uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.